Mike and Ray, good evening. Chicagoans should expect to see Darren Bailey even more. He's moved into the Hancock Center to keep close tabs on crime. Chicago is living the purge. Today, GOP candidate for governor Darren Bailey back in Chicago talking crime. The downstate farmer turned state senator revealed he's renting a place downtown. As I've said from day one, I want to immerse myself in the culture. Bailey says Chicago culture is filled with corruption and crime. He points out the city has already passed 500 homicides this year. He faults Democratic leaders. J.B. Pritzker, Lori Lightfoot, and Kim Fox are personally responsible for this. Soon, all of Illinois will look like Chicago, like a scene from a horror film come to life. Bailey again took aim at the Safety Act, which will eliminate the cash bail system. It does not, as the senator has claimed, require the automatic release of people charged with crimes. With his Safety Act, JB is set to unleash the purge in neighborhoods all over Illinois as of January 1st. Bailey's public safety plan is to repeal the Safety Act, pass a law allowing Cook County voters to recall state's attorney Kim Fox, and stiffen penalties for people involved in gang activity. While serving in the legislature, Bailey has voted against money for law enforcement, including additional funds for state police, money for task force to crack down on carjackings, and money to install highway cameras on Chicago area expressways. With his campaign running low on cash, Bailey is not yet airing television commercials. Instead, the Dan Proft, People Who Play by the Rules Pack, is funding ads against Governor Pritzker. Today, Bailey would not say whether he supports their latest spot showing a woman attacked and robbed in Lakeview. What they do, they do on their own. A spokeswoman for Governor Pritzker's re-election campaign had this to say when he isn't palling around with insurrectionists or disparaging residents of Illinois' largest city, he is lying about public safety. Illinois deserves better than extremists, Darren Bailey. Mike Henry.